Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you are new, welcome. For today's video, I will be trying out this brand of foundation and setting spray that I found at TJ Maxx. It is called Pretty Vulgar. I don't know if this is a new brand. I have never heard of it before, but I do know that they sell it at Sephora. Um, I went to a few TJ Maxx's and Marshall's when I was trying to do that TJ Maxx haul, and I kept seeing this, and I was very intrigued by it. But I didn't get it because um, I'm very picky about what I put on my face, to be honest. But when I went to Marshall's, I googled it and saw that they sell it at Sephora and it's normally $40. And I got this for $12 at TJ Maxx. The setting spray is around $40. Also, I got it for $10. So, I will be trying them out today. I have it on my face right now. Um, I'm going to show you guys the packaging. I got it in the shade 12 called No Filter. They don't really have a huge shade range if you do find it at TJ Maxx or something like that. Um, but they do sell it at Sephora if you do want to try it or if you can find it at your TJ Maxx, that is where I got it. Or Marshalls. They had it at Marshalls too if you have one of those by you. My hair is like lifeless right now. But... It says that it is cruelty free. So that's really good. But this is the packaging. It's literally so pretty. So cute. It's like rose gold, has a little bird on it. And a little pump. So pretty. And then the setting spray and the boxes are even pretty. This one was kind of messed up when I got it, but it was the last one. But I kind of broke the cap of it, which you'll see later in the video. When I was trying to use it, like I ripped this part off. But this is the setting spray. How cute is that? And then if you get this, this does not actually work. It's just spray and all of it is like rose gold and pink. It's so cute. Yeah, this is what's on my face. So you want to see the reviews or how it blends or anything like that then just keep watching we're just gonna put my hair in a bun and i will just washed my face so it's really red so we'll see if this covers up redness very well or anything like that i have to do all of this on my floor oh, you are so cute because i don't have a vanity here right now like I said in my last video so I have to sit on the ground and do everything but oh that's not in English so it says that this is a matte foundation I think it's a matte water foundation so I'm not going to use my mattifying primer, but I'm going to use my pore professional pore primer. I don't think this color is exactly my color, but it was the closest that they had. They only had this shade, which is, um, oh, 12, no filter. Is what it's called. I have to sneeze. So I sprayed that on my face. Um, <coughs> ah! The only other one they had was, um, and it was, I don't know what it was called, but it was the shade 15. And I put it on my hand and my hand literally turned orange. So it was pretty bad. But normally I just pump things onto my hand and then I put like dots on my face. So. I mean, it's not bad. It's not my exact color, but we're gonna make it work just to see like, oh, it's so thick. Oh. She, can you see? Yeah, she thick. I was gonna do one side of the brush and one side of the sponge, but I only really do my makeup with a sponge. I don't ever do it with a brush anymore, um, unless it's tinted moisturizer. 
Um, so I'm just, I'm just gonna do it with my sponge. This is so thick. I feel like I put way too much on my face. Oh, it is so thick. It's a very full coverage. I will tell you that. Can I like zoom in? That's the only thing. So I have to film on my phone right now because um, my camera is at my dad's house. So I film on my phone, but I got the new phone, the iPhone 12. And I'm filming on the front camera and it is very, very high quality. So it doesn't exactly match, but it's not horrible. It'll work. I don't know what their shade range is. I will look that up. I will probably look that up and put it in the intro. I feel like I didn't maybe put enough right here. I don't know. It doesn't feel gross on your face though. Like, you know, when, let's see if it's buildable. Hmm. It is buildable, so that's good if you like way more coverage. You know, this person keeps calling me over and over again. So if you have very, very dry skin, I do not think that this foundation would work for you. I can probably say that right off the bat. Like it is a matte foundation. So if you are very oily, this would be a great foundation for you. I will say that. Okay. Wow, it feels like there's a lot of foundation on my face just because it's like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's, it doesn't feel gross, but like, I can feel it. So, if you don't like that, you might not like this foundation because you can definitely like feel it. It is a very, very full coverage foundation. I think this is honestly the most full coverage foundation that I have put on my face ever. Okay, we're gonna bake how big this eyebrow is so much higher than my other one i always bake with airspun i don't put it all over my face because i tried that one time and it was like the worst thing i could have ever done my under eyes are already starting to like wig out I don't really get smile lines, but I bake them just because, I don't know. I don't really get any creases besides my forehead, which I have always had these creases right here and they drive me insane. I've just always had them. And I hate them. I always have to like facetune them in my photos because I don't like them. The real test is gonna be if my oil comes through my chin and right here and I have to wear a mask at work with everything going on right now. Um, so it's really gonna be tested against like a mask. So I am going to do my eye makeup, my eyelashes on and stuff, and then we will come back and brush this off and see how well um, the foundation sets with my setting powder and then finish my face and we will see how the rest of the day goes. Okay, so I actually really love it. Like, wow. I forgot to do my eyebrows, so I had to do them, but like the bronzer and everything blended so well on it. My lips are so chapped. Ew, gross. Um, the only thing is like right here. I don't know if you can see. It's a little cakey. Um, but from far away, it looks really good. So, uh, I'm trying to do setting spray. And it's like they forgot to put a hole in it. Like, And I unscrewed it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this. Like, I...
truly don't understand. Ooh. Maybe this is fake. Did I buy a broken one? Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, it's fake! <laughs> okay, well, if you buy this, this is fake. I thought that was really how you sprayed it, but it's not. But I broke this, so I'm gonna have to have my boyfriend fix it. But it's just like a little perfume. That's kind of cool, I guess. But for $40, I feel like that's really not a lot. Let's see. Oh, I like how it sprays. Wow, that's really nice. Doesn't really have a smell. Wow, it feels very nice. It feels really refreshing. I'm super bummed that I broke this slow. Oh, I forgot highlighter. Oh, duh. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Oh, oopsies. Oh, wow. That was a, oh, that is a lot of highlighter. That was an accident. Oh, this side looks so much prettier. This highlighter is so pretty though, like. I love this highlighter, it's from Glamify Me. But this highlighter is from Glamify Me. Um, it's the shade Poppin. And I also have like this pearly one in the shade Babe and I love them. They're my favorite highlighters right now, I'm obsessed with them. They're so pretty. And then my eyelashes are also from Glamify Me. And then my bronzer is the Too Faced bronzer. Um, and then my eyebrow, my Morphe eyebrow pencil. So that is it for these two products. I am obsessed with them. The packaging is just so pretty. Like I can't get over it. They're just so pretty. But I will try my best to check in at work if I can't. It is 1030 right now. Um, I will be back home around six o'clock. So that is a lot of wear time, especially the fact that I have to wear a mask at work and stuff. Um, we will definitely see how well this foundation holds up if it creases or anything, but it looks so flawless. Like I am honestly amazed at how well this looks on camera. Like, wow, really cute. So yeah, I will check back with you guys later. Hey. Babe, look at my foundation and tell me what you think about it. Your foundation? Yes, my face. Are you recording right now? Mm-hmm. Is that what you're asking me? Mm -hmm. I don't... Because this is my new foundation. So you got it on video of me talking about the Tuku lady? No. <laughs> you do? Well, now mm -hmm. I do. But does it look bad? Yeah. Like, does it look like I have, like, a... A max amount of makeup on my face. No, no. Is it trick questions or something? No. No, because this is a new foundation that I've never tried before, and so I'm asking you if it looks cakey or if it looks bad. It looks good. <laughs> okay, it is now almost 9:30. I've had this on my face since 10:30 um i worked it's really hot in my store so this has been through like my hot air breathing into a mask um i ate so it held up pretty well normally i don't really get smile lines i mean sometimes i do i guess but i normally get a liner right here and right here so it didn't really crease um that's not really the problem the only thing that i noticed is that um, my oil is coming through right here right here and right here but that could just be because I was wearing a mask all day so um I, like breathing and your hot air like going back on your face like it's gonna make your like my face I didn't really sweat but um it's gonna make your face hot I guess and then your oils are gonna come through so that's really the only thing though but other than that it looked really good and then like right here it started to separate and then of course on my nose a little bit rubbed off from just wearing the mask but other than that it didn't really oxidize didn't change color didn't really get patchy besides just like right here where the mask was we will see how it looks with a touch up 
because sometimes when I've touched up like foundation and this is really all I do when I touch up I just use like leftover powder on my brush I don't know it like takes it off it separates it so wow I'm actually very impressed with this and you can touch it up so that's good so for coverage I give it like a 10 out of 10 for blending mmm like a 7 out of 10 just because it dries so fast. Yeah, I'm actually very impressed with this foundation. So overall, I think I would give it like an 8 out of 10. I have really bad forehead wrinkles when I move. And you can't really see them. So I like this foundation. I would highly recommend. That is all for today. If you guys have any other foundations or products that you want me to try, like always put them in the comment section below or feel free to DM me on my social medias. I will have those in the description box below. Um, I found this at TJ Maxx, like I said, so go to your local TJ Maxx, pick this up. Let me know if you try it. If you do try it, post it on your Instagram story or something and please tag me and let me know how you liked it. Um... But yeah, that's it. If you guys have any ideas or anything else you want to see, as always, please put it in the comment box. And I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. As always, Piddle is ready for bed. It is higher, Bubba. So, so I will see you guys next time. Love you. Ooh, the earwubs. I know the earwubs. Oh, they get you every time. Can I finish what I'm doing now, please? I'm very needy. Sorry. <laughs>